Hi, I'm Jill Fry and today I'm going to show you how I set up my Pluto laser trigger to capture shots like these. Just showing a quick shot of the setup for my Pluto trigger using the laser beam. You'll see on camera my settings were 1 180th of a second F8 ISO 100 and I had my flash on 1 16th. I have the one part of the, the Pluto trigger from the camera going to the Pluto trigger into the little camera socket and on the other side you'll see I have got the laser beam and you'll see that that laser beam is lining up with the trigger on the other side so if you have a look you'll see it is lining up there not that big middle knob but the one to the left then I had a back background and dropping some fruit. I also have above a tape measure that comes out out over exactly for the drop point to drop my fruit to break the laser into the glass. Once you've got everything set up you need to go to the Pluto Trigger app that you have downloaded on your phone. Find the one that says laser. When you go into that, you will see that there is two sort of semi circles. When the laser is connected fully with the beam going across and touching the correct point, you'll see that there is a full circle shown on the laser. When the beam is broken, you'll see that it comes right back. So that's one way of testing that the laser is working correctly. Also, you'll see the inner circle is the sensitivity. And that's really, you have to play around with that depending on the amount of light that is currently in the room. So just try putting your hand through the laser beam and just see if it will trigger off your camera. To trigger off your camera, you have to press that play button first. So press the play button, hear the tick, and then put your hand through the laser beam and it should trigger your camera if everything's set up correctly. Now you'll also see that it is currently set to zero milliseconds. And what you're going to find is you're going to have to play a lot with dropping your um, fruit or ice or whatever it is into the glass and to see whether you get that splash or not. You might have to delay it and if you need to delay it, click on the zero and then a series of numbers will come up. You type in maybe 10 or 20 milliseconds and just see what difference it makes to your picture. If you're finding it's triggering too early, you're not getting it into the into the uh, the glass properly you may need to increase the height of the object that you're dropping or increase the height of the level of the laser now here's a couple of things I found helped me the first thing was I set up the laser and the trigger on some light stands so that were firm and stable and easy to point at each other the second thing is that I found that round fruit, such as the tomato, didn't make the splash, probably because it's spherical um, shape. So when I dropped an ice cube from the same height, I found I got a much better splash. So if you drop something that's a little bit more irregular in shape, you're going to get a better effect. So hopefully this has got you started with getting your setup right and starting to have fun with your Pluto trigger. So have fun 
and I'll catch you next time.